Peace, peace, family. It's your boy Pablo Gray. And um, I'm going to make this video short, or as short as I possibly can be. But um, let me explain to you why you feel so helpless. Well, let me, let me think where I should start. Let's, let's just start off about like how you start the day. A lot of people, they wake up, and the first thing they're doing is usually some shit they're not supposed to, such as checking their phone. And you know what you see when you first check your phone, because 9 out of 10, you hit the social media. So probably on Instagram, Twitter, shit, Facebook. And if you're not looking at no, no how can I say, um, something that desensitizes you, something that shouldn't necessarily be on the internet for you to see almost all the time, such as, you know what I'm talking about, videos of people harming themselves or dying. You you know how often they show that on the internet. As soon as we're not really supposed to look at that all the time. Because there's, you, you know you know what happens when you see something die. When, if you happen to ever witness someone die, you know what that feeling is. That is something that, that never, it's something you never forget. But anyway, starting your day off just like that. That's lowering your vibration just like that. Seeing seeing pictures and, and videos that you shouldn't normally see on a daily basis, that's that's lowering your vibration. That's desensitizing you to things that you shouldn't necessarily be desensitized to. There's a reason for trauma, there's a reason for all of that. It's it's a purpose for it. But just doing that by itself is lowering your vibration. And I mean, that's just telling you what you're not what you are doing wrong. I mean, you're not, you're not stretching, you're not growing up, you're not waking up doing yoga, you're not, you're not, no meditation, you, you ain't, you ain't focusing on yourself, you, you already altering your, your vibration, and that's not to mention you, you probably woke up and didn't eat shit, right, nine times out of ten when you wake up, you should probably put some fruit on your stomach, that, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's if you're not fasting, if you're not fasting, you should probably wake up and put some, some fruit on your stomach, but, just not doing that, yo, especially your diet that's lowering your vibration, you are what you eat, you eat death, you will be death, straight up, that's just how it is, you you eat life, you will gain life, and if you don't understand that concept, fruit, veggies, mostly fruit, is life, meat, death, straight up, it is what it is, I don't know what else to tell you, we all susceptible to it, you, you just gotta learn how to you gotta learn how to eat right, cause that's gonna fuck up your vibration as well. Um, what, what else is people doing to fuck up their vibration? Um, just having, just having these negative thoughts that probably stem for the first two things: waking up and having your mind on social media or eating, eating the wrong thing. If you don't understand your your stomach, your gut is your second brain. You just got you got just as many neurons in your stomach as you do in your brain, and if you putting bad shit on your second brain what you think is telling your first brain if i'm not mistaken i think the stomach is the first brain and the, the brain up here is the second brain so you putting all of the, the nutrients and the information aka food in your stomach what you think is sending sending to your brain when it's telling you all oh, you just ate some some dead flesh yeah that's lowering your vibrations but let's not let's not forget about the actual sound that people be listening to. And y'all know we fuck with, we fuck with hip hop. But y'all all know not all hip hop is created the same. Not all music is created the same. You got some, and I'm, I'm gonna put it, out, put it out here like this. If you don't know this based off science, black people, we, we really need bass. It's for our bone density. And as you can see, it's what we really fuck with. It's because naturally we're supposed to. Bones, are, our bones are a little bit thinner, and we react a little bit different to to deeper vibrations. It's supposed to be good for us, but from from just that, listening to the wrong music will lower your vibration. Listening to the wrong songs, especially when when you got music that's celebrating dumb shit, and and you you can't counteract that by doing other doing other things that will. That will raise your vibration, if that makes sense. Because there's a lot of people in the spiritual world who, in, in the spiritual realm or in, in this conscious community who still listen to hip-hop and 
what you might consider vulgar hip hop. What it is is understanding that it could be good music, but the message behind it isn't always necessarily good. So with that being said, you can listen to bad hip hop. It's just like, you know, you're not balancing that shit out. It's probably working against you. That's all I'm saying. Um, what what else? Let's just think about all these other subgroups. You you probably got a religion out there that that's keeping you closed minded. That'll lower your vibration. You're not willing to hear people. You're not willing to understand what people is doing. That's not caring. If you're not willing to understand, that means you're not willing to love. That means you probably you probably lowering your vibration in others. Cause the sound sound is a wave. It goes in 360 direction, 360 degrees. So if you if you putting out bad energy, bro, it, it's traveling in all directions, and it's the same thing with good energy. Um, what what else? You probably dealing with childhood trauma that ain't never been healed. That that'll lower your vibration. But let's 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 get back to the topic of how. How vibrations travel in 360 degrees. So, with that being said, you you know the old saying, you are who you hang around. You hanging around a bunch of motherfuckers that don't know shit, who don't know what they're doing with their life, who already think negative, they eat shitty, they, they bumping bullshit, uh, not to mention they, they health pattern, their life pattern is all fucked up, and you hanging around these motherfuckers. You're not going no further than them. And that's the same thing with their vibrations, because you eating off their vibrations. They ain't speaking no positivity. They ain't manifesting nothing, nothing positive in their life. It's, they ain't doing it for you. Um, so you really need to watch who you be around. Stay away from these lower vibrations, man. This is why you feel hopeless. All you do is watch the fucking news. All you see is people shit, women shaking ass in videos, niggas pulling out straps and guns and shit and what else? Police videos of people getting beat, so you desensitized to that. Um, you you so distracted and hopeless with that, you're not even seeing what, what people and your leaders is doing behind your back. Because your, your vibration so so low, your, your focus is somewhere else. Shit. But um, with that being said, man, that that's the real reason why you feel hopeless, man. Basically, raise your vibration. Stop being around people that's lowering your vibration. Stop doing things that lower your vibration. Wake up, stretch, meditate, yoga, eat good, veggies, fruits, mostly fruits. Stay away from people with bad energy. Stay away from anything that takes good energy. Yeah, man. Stop letting people lower your vibration. Stop letting yourself lower your vibration. Straight up. Pablo out.